Let's start off with this right here. Wow, so here they are guys. This is amazing, brother. Why are you making mouth noises, big bug? Big bug, big dog. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's us again. So the reason why I'm starting off the vlog with the turtle, um, dude, you guys have been, man, mad dogging her on all the comments. I mean, I kind of blame myself because I did say go all out, but man, some of you guys are mean. Literally. Are you a chicken? Yeah, I mean, you guys are being so truthful, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> just play. No, but <laughs> Tina is totally gonna redeem herself. Just watch. Um, just watch. Not on this clutch because let's just say, oh, it's because we're doing like a sponsor ad type thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what we're yeah. doing. But guys, as you guys can see <laughs> on the thumbnail, there is an easier way for you to put your eggs on the bins when you incubate them. I was talking to Ricardo from Breeder Circle a couple of weeks ago because I saw him posted things and man was I in love. These things are so awesome. I haven't opened up yet. He just shipped some out to me. So guys, let's get ready because we also have a clutch we have to pull. And what better way than to have a clutch lay today and experiment with them right now. Are you excited, Turtle? I'm excited but to see what they look like. <laughs> I always do this. I always get ahead of myself because I get so excited. But before we do that, I have to pull out the rest of these little babies that are in, in, in the little Ready. egg, in the in yeah, box. that thing over there right now. <laughs> then I'll show you guys the, the snakes. Okay, so this clutch, I already pulled a few of them out already. Actually, there's a couple of clutches I haven't even showed you guys yet. I'm gonna wait till they shed. But these right here, it's an easy combo to be able to identify, but I'm still having problems. That's how much of a noob I am. But this was a red striped clown bred to a killer clown. So everything's gonna be pastel, right? But here's one of the babies that just came out. There's still two in the egg, but look at this thing, man. This thing's actually really pretty. It looks, I haven't really seen any um, pastel clowns looking like this. So hopefully these are red stripe. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just leave this one right there. Okay, so right here we have a regular pastel clown. And as you can see, this is like, how would you say, like very pixelated yeah. um, on the dorsal stripe and I don't know, I mean, you guys uh, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. But yeah, they definitely look a little different. Um, we'll see, I guess, after they shed out. Some of them are that pixelated, some of them are not. But again, it was a red striped clown bred to a killer clown. Okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna wash this little guy out, or girl, and then sex him, and I'll show you guys the rest of them. Honestly, they look the same to me. But um, I've actually, I believe four of them are already out. One of them's a male and everything else is a female. Well, the sex odds are doing really good. All right, guys, so that's another female, and here is the rest of the clutch. So if I were to guess, let me see, let me break, pull these things apart. I would say this is a regular pastel clown, and these right here are red stripe clowns. You guys see the difference? Justin, help me out. <laughs> but yeah, once they all shed out, we'll get more of an idea. So we have one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Four females and one male. And then this clutch right here is insane. I'll tell you guys right now. I don't even know if I could tell you guys. Just tell them. I can't. It's pretty, um, pretty insane. I'll, I'll just wait till they shed out and let you guys know. Also, guys, we already separated a lot of the hatchlings on their own tubs. A lot of them will be eating for the first time this Thursday. And this is the girl right here that laid for us. Look at those big eggs right there, man. Whoa. Turtle, is this the one that you're going to pull for us? No, I'm still in training. <laughs> okay. Not this one. All right. But yeah, look at there, guys. Some big eggs. All right, guys. So let's start off with this right here. So you guys know when I, there's so many different ways in incubating and getting your eggs ready for their tub when you're going to put them in an incubator. You guys see that I use pearl light and then I put a light diffuser on top. Then I put some teas and then I mark them down, you know, kind of crazy. Other people use vermiculite and don't even use trays. They just, you know, put them in there, which I think is a great way. There's so much different ways. This is definitely going to help out the new people that are getting into this. It's super easy. And from what I've known and talked about with Ricardo, I mean, this stuff is awesome, man. And the best thing about it is you put it in the dishwasher. Wow. So here they are, guys. Look at this. That is so cool. So as you can see, there's 10 slots, five across. And I mean, as you guys know, I mean, it's kind of rare to get a clutch over 10, but if you do, you end up using two tubs anyways. I mean, the average snake gives about six eggs. I've only had one snake give me 10 eggs this season so far, but look at this. Look how cool this is. Talk about convenience, right? So I'm gonna prep out a tub and show you guys my method and throw these bad boys on there and see how they work. Okay, so you guys know I use Perlite. So what we usually do is we do a three and a half cups. But it's not even considered a cup, right? Not like no. A cup <laughs> well, I mean, it is a cup. Three and a half of our 
blue cups. Okay, so this is what we do right here, and this is what usually what we would use if we didn't have these easy hatch trays. You know what I wish we could do? You know back in the day when they used to do the kids, uh, they used to have this new little cup or new little plate for them, and they'd make it so uh, dramatic, like if I had a thing and I spilt everything, you know, oh like all those my commercials. God, those infomercials? That would have been so freaking hilarious. I'll put a little clip of it right now. But yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do that, but that would be pretty cool. So yeah, so usually, um, let me show you the old method. So again, usually I'd use a light diffuser. And for all you guys that use these, um, you guys know it's kind of a pain in the butt to cut these things and measure them out. Little pieces fly all over the place. Um, we would usually put this right here. And then I'd fill up the perlite all the way to the top where I start seeing the water. Once the water level gets to the top is where I stop. And then we have to put the eggs in. Then you guys know I use teas. So not only are you using teas and all sorts of other stuff or straws, blah, blah, blah. That's a lot of craziness just because you don't want the eggs to be moving. But now, from the looks of it, you don't need to worry about that no more because of easy hatch trays. So you just put this on here. Again, I'm gonna fill it up with water all the way to the top. And I guess we're just gonna put the eggs on there and let's see how it goes. All right guys, so out with the old and in with the new. You know, the good thing is I was running out of these teas already and I need to go back to golf and I break them or lose them most of the time anyways. So again, we have the water level already filled up to the top. So you can see if I tilt a little by little, you guys see the water going. A little bit. So now I just put this on here just like that. And from the looks of it, I don't even think I'm going to have to, you know, mark these things down. I mean, I will just because I kind of have like an OCD type thing. It's like if I start something from the beginning, like with a little marker or something, I always continue doing it. It's weird. I have to use the same marker. Don't, but I don't, I don't even want to get into that. So let's pull out the snake and let's see how this thing works. All right, guys. So here's the female. As you can see, she looks a little angry. Tina, if you want to come up a little closer, are you still scared? All right, there you go. See guys? Don't scare me. <laughs> That's why the turtle didn't want to do it. So let me pull her out and let's get to this. Oh snap, little girl. Okay, she's a little scary. Sorry, 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 sorry. Make sure you're completely empty. Okay. Put it here on the side. Let me grab these eggs. Man, these eggs look really, really, really healthy. Nice and big. And let me put her back and then put a full clean for Jess because you guys already know we always do that. So I'm going to put these eggs right here. And as you can see, even though we have an egg that's a little long, a little big, when you put it on here, it still cradles the egg, which is awesome. So let me start peeling these things off. That is awesome. And guys, remember, eggs come in so many different sizes, shapes and sizes. Usually they're a lot smaller than this. But either way, you guys can see, look at these two big ones. They still fit here perfect. Nice and tucked in. And you guys know the water level comes all the way to the top. So it's pretty easy, man. Um, so far, I'm digging it. We're going to candle these up. And of course, I have to mark them up. And then we'll talk a little more about it. Ricardo, this is amazing, brother. Look at this, man. We have six eggs. Candle them. Healthy veins. And before I forget, uh, the breeding was a orange dream yellow belly inchy genex pied to a regular pied so hopefully we get some cool stuff my allergies are about to kick my butt no all right so tina's gonna get all the information and you know do her thing put everything up there i'm gonna put all of uh, ricardo's information on description down below for the easy hatch trays guys i'm telling you that is so amazing so convenient for all you need people getting into this hobby having those new clutches if you guys want to see the easiest and most convenient way to put some trays in for your snakes this is the way to go right here. And also it came with some cool little tools. Let me show you guys right now. So when I was talking to Ricardo, I was like, hey man, what are these little things right here? And you know, sometimes your eggs will be, start looking a little too dry. It's not enough moisture in there. Or when you want to take them out, that's where these little things come in handy. So you just put these in right here, just like that. And now you got yourself some handles to pull them up. How awesome is that? Whoa. Talk about freaking innovation, man. That is so freaking cool. Ricardo, this thing is amazing, brother. Seriously, man. Lifesaver for sure. We're going to be using nothing but easy hat trays over here at AEP now. So, guys, make sure you guys go check out Breeder Circle. And make sure you guys go check out the website and go look at some easy hat trays for yourself. And start getting them because these things are going to be selling like hotcakes. And the reason why she's putting it up there is because we still have to do some adjustments because we're getting pretty full over there. <laughs> we gotta so, shovel yeah. it around. All right, turtle, 
Say your words, girl. What's 26? Okay, so that's it for this vlog. Again, big shout out to Ricardo from Breeder Circle and Easy Hatch Trays. Those things are so amazing, man. Like I said, AEP is going to be using nothing but those from now on. Also, guys, come on, turtle. Come on, turtle. Man, don't leave me hanging, big dog. <laughs> so tomorrow, actually tomorrow's not going to be tomorrow for you guys, but the next vlog, I got two more investment snakes. I got two new males that I'm going to be shelving up for next season. Hopefully, if I could get them up to size, they are amazing. And with that vlog, I will be touching up on the business side of things again because I'm going to show these two bad boys off. They're amazing, amazing snakes. Um, so guys, make sure you guys stay tuned. We appreciate all the love and support. Take it easy on Tina. No, not yeah. really. Keep going ham on it, guys. Um, Till <laughs> next time, guys. Deuce.